The first week of November marked the quarterly exercise Gunfighter Flag 17-1 at Mountain Home Air Force Base. Gunfighters are pushed to the limit with an increased number of sorties and enemy threats for around-the-clock operations. Behind it all is the 266 Range Squadron, or RANS, a guard unit from Gowan Field. Ground threat directors, air battle managers, and weapons directors all set up the battlefield. Our role is to orchestrate the air war. We are able to take our mountain home range complex and we're able to orchestrate numerous types of airframes, ground threats, air-to-air -air threats. We put together a scenario which will help train the pilots for when they go overseas. Vampire 8-1's The 266 RANS is broken up into teams, Sagebrush and Cowboy Control. The Sagebrush team creates the ground threats. We provide the simulated uh, surface air missiles for the air crews to defend against and, and train for survivability. Then the Cowboy Control team communicates with the pilots. When we're talking to pilots, we're giving them situational awareness enhancing information. Information that uses advanced radar capabilities to provide a God's eye view of the enemy. As a fighter pilot myself, uh, we go out and do an air to air environment all the time and he really becomes my fifth wingman out there. He's going to have my back through everything else. Uh, if I'm turned around, he's my big brother in the sky. He can paint that picture and give me a threat warning and he can basically keep, keep me alive and keep me back to the fight as well as uh, project that power over to the enemy. In order to paint this picture, Cowboy Control uses an advanced computer system. This is our system of record, which is a BC-3T, which is our battle station. It's a great system because it allows us to feed multiple radars into one. As you can see, this is our airspace, and it's really big. It's encompassing parts of Idaho, Nevada, and Oregon. And as we zoom out, you can see that we have over 15 radar feeds from the greater northwest that's getting all of the information from aircraft in that area. The system here allows us to provide real-time threat information to pilots so we can drag a line and give them what's called a bra, bearing range altitude aspect from their aircraft to know exactly where the adversary is. We also can hook what's called a bullseye, which allows us to give everyone a kind of general idea as to where people are from a general reference point. One of the other benefits that we have here at Cowboy is that we have a multi-voice switch that allows us to uh, grab as many radios as we want and pipe them into our ears. We need to be able to communicate real time with air traffic control. This panel allows us to do that while at the same time accessing the radar picture. This system is the same technology that is used overseas in combat situations, making this exercise as realistic as possible. It's very important to train on the same systems that you're going to use overseas because it's like practice how you play. Just like any other sport or any other type of mission that we're going to execute, if you're not doing it the way you're going to do it when you're fighting the real bad guys, then there may be mistakes that you're making. We need to be able to know what those mistakes are going to be on this type of equipment so that we can fix those here when we have the time and then when we get out of overseas, we'll be able to execute. Over the years, Gunfighter Flag has brought many different countries and branches to Mountain Home Air Force Base and provided a unique interoperability training environment. Gunfighter Flag is so important, honestly, for the gunfighters as well as anybody up in the Northwest. We invite tons of players out. We get about 50 aircraft in the airspace all at one time. Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Army units, space assets. We get to come together in this environment about once a quarter and really practice the skill sets that I'm going to take to war overall in a contested environment.